I'm going to mount two solar panels, and I've just got a used pallet I got for nothing. I can get pallets for nothing, and it's got a piece of plywood on top. Um, I know it's going to eventually rot, but when it rots out, I'll just get a new one. So what I'm doing here, I have some Unistrut that I've cut, six inches, three holes, and, a piece, and I did screw a piece of uh, treated um, two-by-six here, just because I had it. And I'm using these Unistrut hinges. They can go 180 degrees. And then I'm even going to have a coupling here that fits over the top just to beef it up a little bit. So here's the, the finished product here. Is that, so the Unistrut the hinge, the hinge fits underneath this collar that goes over. So then I, it's, it's rock solid now. So this can't spread for any reason. If there's any stresses on it, this will prevent it from stressing. So I'll put some Unistrut on here and get these panels mounted. Okay, got the struts mounted on the hinge. So if we pick up, pick up the hinge, so we can get whatever angle we want. Once you get the panels on here, it should really make this whole thing a lot more solid. These are my solar panels that I'm using today. They are REC 310 watt solar panels. And they are Got them off of Craigslist, really cheap, 120 bucks each. Heavy, they are heavy, I will say that. So the holes here are too far apart, the mounting holes are too far apart. I'm on 36 inches, so this does give me a convenient center mark. That's right there that I can measure back and get the proper centers. This is my solar panel setup. I've got four panels, REC panels, 310 watts each. And I just screwed them to a pallet. I get pallets for free. So if the pallet rots, I'll get in, just put a new one. Easy to change the hardware and everything. Backside, I just used just Unistrut. mounting. I used a hinge for the oddball angle. Angle here is 37 degrees. That's what the angle is here in my latitude for perfect for spring and fall. They are two panels hooked in series. Those two are hooked in series and then they are the two arrays are hooked in parallel. And in here, I do have two inline fuses from each one of the pallets, 20 amp fuses. And I just have them temporarily run into my shop, into my grow walk.